Hey guys, welcome back to Season 5, Episode 1 of The Expanse. It's been 8 months since I did a reaction video. Uh, I'm really excited to have a go and get back into it. Yesterday I spent... I was going to record this yesterday and I spent a long, long, long time uh, trying to sort out my... Um, sort out the sound on my... Uh, computer and try and get things better. I've got a new microphone that I was trying to set up. I, I tried, to, I mean, I got the microphone working before, but it wasn't perfect. And now I um, I was trying to sort something out. Anyway, I did updates on my computer. It took about five and a half hours. And in the end, I was like, I can't do the reaction now. It's 2 a.m. So, so it had to wait till today. Um, I think the sound is better than I normally have had it in the past so I'm hoping that that's going to be really good um, and hopefully an improvement to my reactions um, and we're on season five so I really liked season four and a lot of people in my comments it was quite mixed some people liked it some people um, thought it wasn't quite as uh, I don't know some people just didn't like season four as much they thought it was a filler season was what some people said but to me, I just really enjoyed it. I thought it was really good. I liked the new characters. Um, I mean, I was very, very sad to see Ashford die at the end of the season. That was a massive, like, blow. I really liked him as a character. Um, and I was really looking forward to seeing him and Drama together. Um, so I'm sad about that. Um, there's definitely a potential for Avasarala and uh, Bobby to start working together, which I loved them together before. So I'm hoping that they get back together. Um, and just to, uh, just to comment on a couple of things as well that have just come up recently. So in, um, I think, it, so I went off radar this year a lot. I, I, I got COVID in March and then I kind of was knocked out for a couple of weeks and then I just kind of lost my mojo. I was stuck in my flat on my own, just me. Sorry, by the way, to take you off a tangent, but you know, it is what it is. I'm going to do it. Um, yeah, so I was off my, off, you know, I just wasn't myself. I thought I would use lockdown to do loads and loads of reactions. Actually, I did the opposite. I did none at all, even though I was on my own in my flat doing nothing. But I lost a lot of sort of motivation. Um, but the, what was I going to say? So I missed all the announcements about The Expanse. And there were two main things that came out in the last few months. So one was the announcement that season six was being renewed, but that it was to be the last season. Now, obviously, that's a double-edged sword. There's like, you know, it's good that we're getting another season and it will complete the second trilogy. I understand that the way the books have written it is almost like three trilogies. Um, so that's good um, that we'll get that done. But you know, it's sad that they're not going to finish all the books. I know for the people that are the big fans of the books, you know, they'll be they'll be sad that it's not finished. But, you know, it, it got picked back up again last time. Who knows? It might get picked up again. Who knows? So I'm not holding out, you know, I'm not going to be too disappointed unless something, you know, unless there's an absolute finality to it and they make it very, very clear that it's not going to continue at all. Uh, but the other bit of news, obviously, was the thing about Kaz Anvar, which um, is very disappointing news. Um, I know that Kaz Anvar was one of the main people who really pushed for The Expanse to be relaunched after it was dropped by Sci-Fi. And, you know, he was well respected in the community. I know that. And... Uh, so it's very, very disappointing to hear the allegations that have been made. Um, from the sheer number of people that have come forward, I think, and, and this sounds unfair because even if it was just one person, um, we'd need to take those allegations seriously. But, but, but because of the sheer number, I think you take them even more seriously. It's very clear that there's something that's gone down there. Um, it's not my place to talk about it, but... It's it's concerning, um, but season six has Alex. Sorry, season five has Alex in it. Um, I'm going to react to it with Alex in it. Alex is not Kazanvar. That's a different person. He's playing a character. So in season five, I will react to Alex as Alex, and um, 
he's not one of my favourite, favourite characters, but I've never disliked Alex. Uh, he's fine, and um, I will react to him as a character, not as an actor. And that, that's, that's the way it's got to be. For me, the, you know, the art was made, it was created, and some stuff happened behind the scenes which wasn't nice by the sounds of it, and um, it is what it is, like I said. And I, I'm very sorry to the women that were involved, and I hope that um, I hope that it comes to a very good resolution, and uh, and that you know it's that justice is done in whichever way it can be. So that's my thoughts on that. So, without further ado, that brings me to Season 5, Episode 1 of The Expanse, and we're going to watch it right now. Let's go. I've actually watched this recap a few times, because I was trying to sort out my audio, so I know everything that's coming up in this recap, like the back of my hand. Oh! They're gonna kill them. They're gonna kill them. No! Why? I thought they were gonna be introduced as main characters. That's. <laughs> they lasted a minute. Oh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh my gosh. Wow. Whew. It's been quite a dramatic start, hasn't it? What the fuck do you think I'm running here? A fucking soup kitchen? I don't fucking know what you're fucking talking about, boss man. <laughs> Frank gave me the okay himself. You've got a problem. Take it up with him. <laughs> Believe me, I will. That method of transportation this is, this is so cool. You couldn't use a comb? Not for this. Fred's involved is always serious. She's not gonna like it when she actually finds out what he's like, though. Hmm. Well, I want to know more about it, even if you don't. Don't switch the TV off when she's giving information. That does not look like luxurious accommodation. No. No. This does yeah, sound like a scam. You never know what could happen if you don't you know that nobody in this cabin pays for any of your insurance or anything else from now on. <laughs> Says you? Says me. What crew you run with? The Rasinante. Never heard of you. You probably have. I'm out of context here. <laughs> My feet uh, you fucked up, Coyle? Go, where are you going? I'm gonna go take a shower. You crazy kid, you know what they're gonna do in there? Yep. I hate waiting. Oh my god, are they gonna attack him? I don't like it. I don't know for him. Oh! Christ. Oh my god. Oh my god, Amos. Oh my god. If there's any more of it out there, who knows what it'll do next? I'll tell you, I think you know what it'll do next. I don't. And if you do, you have a response. How would he know what it's so going to do next? It does different things every time. It's totally unpredictable. She's looking very tough. I think the new haircut. I know, obviously, the, the tattoos add to that. It's a shift. I know what it is. What makes you think I have access to something like that? Yeah. Huh. I think that's a yes. It's 
A lot of scene setting this episode, as you'd expect for an episode one. Close my head out and close the door behind you. <laughs> he does have some power now, doesn't he? Something on your mind? A line. Our protomolecule is secure. And don't ask me where it is. What do you know about the artifact on Illus? Whatever's been made public. These entities created the artifact and destroyed the protomolecule builders. Wiped out their whole civilization in an instant. And now we're using their rings. That's so cool. I am. And how did you Only it looks that? cool. It's a bit scary. Every time. Mm -hmm. Thousands of people have gone through the rings. No one's reported ever seeing anything like this. But and he's got he's had different myself. connections to the proto molecule. There. Clement had brain damage is not the way to sell me on this, son. <laughs> yeah. How many people has this artifact killed? You're not responsible for the world. Do something meaningful with the time you have in it. Believe it or not. The world will go on without you. I think he does have a point. Like he could do Holden could do with just relaxing and enjoying his life a little bit at some point because he's not really done that for a long time now and he does have a girlfriend like have fun with her go and have a nice time we want to see you and us he's away field trip for school oh hey hey listen i, I don't think he's away in person you don't need to know you are not a part of our lives anymore we don't owe you any closure Wow. Ouch. Our whole class is serving the ice pack of the planet of Wario. Wow. That sounds interesting. And when did you get Oh, back? she wasn't lying. She was telling the truth. Two weeks. Okay. Two weeks? On a school trip. Is this just a coincidence? They're both at the same place? So, how the hell are you? How's everything going? Yeah. We haven't been in touch for a while. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, she's so cold. Well, whatever it is, I'm sure you'll fix it. Why? What? Why are you sure? You don't even know what it is. Do you? Well, you weren't even listening to her properly. I'm realistic, though. What? Get it through your head. It's over. Move on. <laughs> <laughs> this was not a good day for this. I'll see you later. Wow. Oh, my God. Oh, Bobby. She's gone back to the old hot-headed Bobby of the old days. Hey. Oh, Bobby. Hey, if I show up with an Eartha, with James Holden at my side, it's only going to make things harder. Stay up with the freighter. At least then I'll be close if you need any help. You can't help me with this. He is, or he does always want to be I the hero. I've somehow been able to live with the fact that I saved myself. His father is going to get him killed, and if I don't at least try and stop that from happening. Yeah, Naomi. Go get him. Save him. But I think he's a bit far gone. I'm not sure she'll be able to save him, to be fair. I feel like we're going to have a big dramatic ending, because we had a big dramatic start, and then it's been quite slow in the middle, and I feel like there's a few minutes left. The effects and the, you know, all the, I don't even know how they do it, whether it's all CGI or models or what, or, or what, I, I don't even know how they do these kind of things. I don't really want to know, I quite like not knowing. But, anyway, it always looks amazing. It looks amazing, the way they do it. Say no. First of all, I didn't start it, and second of all, they were all alive when I walked out. You're escorted. This way. <laughs> Hello. You and I have very different life experiences, Chrissy. Don't call me that. I'm Chrissy! I'm not your favorite stripper. You can be both. Oh my god, Amos! I'm what I'm doing here. <laughs> She's old enough, enough to be your mom! Do you intend to kill anyone down there? I won't bail you out if you do. Can't go now. What? Why would Marco and Horus destroy his science? I'm not convinced he did. The match was only 53.7%. That's a coin toss up. Don't get too excited. Too late. <laughs> On her way, at least. 
That coffee. What? 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 What happened? I feel like I'm missing something really obvious here. It's weird them all being split up like this. I'm not used to it. Seven hours, thirteen minutes. That's impact on Earth, right? Uh oh. Interesting. Um. Yeah. Uh. Right. So. Yeah. Interesting. Probably. One of the quietest episodes of um. The expanse that I can remember. Um, I feel like, yeah, like, not a huge amount happened. We had a bit of a dramatic start. And then episode one just felt like a lot of uh, scene setting and, and world building. And what it did, though, which is very interesting, is it split our four main characters up. I think that's the first time ever in five seasons that all four of them have been separated. I feel like there's often been like two of them together and two of them together or things like that. And then, yeah, basically they've all been pretty much separate. And then you, so that's the four main characters, but also Christian and Bobby and they're all separate. Everyone's got their own little worlds going on all over the whole solar system. So it's, it's, I mean, the, the world has got bigger and bigger and bigger in this game, in this, um, in this show. Um, I feel like that's maybe going to be telling about the whole season, about the, the fact that the season is going to be spread out a little bit more than normal. And, um, and I mean, basically we got introduced to the fact that Marco is this massive baddie and Philip it has been brainwashed into being just like his father, as far as I can tell. So I feel like that's all, there's not a huge amount to say on this. Um, so the... <laughs> uh, it's quite funny how um, Avasarala is doing a job that she just hates but is doing it because Gal's told her to do it and you know I think she's good keeping her fingers in the pie because then you know she's got more of a chance of getting back into a position that she enjoys later on um, Amos was pretty bloodthirsty with those uh those people on the, on his uh, transportation. He just is able to just switch off completely when he does things like that. And, you know, it makes him so interesting as a character because he's someone that is... Um, he's got such high morals that are so important to him. But then there are certain moments where he becomes completely amoral. He just loses morals and he doesn't even, they just kind of disappear. He just has a blinkered view on things. And once he's decided something is right or wrong, he sticks with it. We've got the whole Alex storyline. It's interesting seeing him no longer flying and just trying to get back to his son and be part of that world again. But I feel like he's a long way away from it. And I think Bobby was absolutely right when she said that, you know, this was over years ago. Get over it. Move on. I think that, that you know, she's right. Um, and then the big one probably is Naomi on her search for Philip. That's going to be so interesting to see her reaction to it. Some emotional scenes for Dominique Tipper and... Um, I do think she's grown quite a lot as an actress. I think I've said quite a lot in the past about how I think I really like the character of Naomi, but I'm never actually convinced by Dominique Tipper's performance. But I think in this episode, she did a decent job. Um, so that was good. Yeah, so, I mean, like I said, not a huge amount to say. I don't think there was a huge amount of new stuff that we learned because we already knew that Marco and Philip were doing these bad things and now we know them and we see them a bit more and... I guess we now see that all these different characters are in different places and 
they're kind of on a bit of a a respite from everything because they've had some I mean they've been doing a lot of shit for years now so they deserve a little break but I'm sure they'll all get dragged together again soon <laughs> okay that was my reaction to season 5 episode 1 of The Expanse I hope you enjoyed it um, I will be back very soon with episode 2 if you like the video then please do comment, like and subscribe down below and if you love the video please sign up to my Patreon where you can get full length unedited reactions. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all soon. Take care. Bye.